Great question here. It says, Cuba is cool and all, but why did so many of their athletes risk their lives to escape and come to the U.S.? Genuinely curious. Yeah, the main answer is money. Since the revolution in 1959, Cuba has been held under a crippling embargo by the United States, which really prevents them from trading with the rest of the world. So while they have a superior healthcare system to us for the mass of their population, they still don't have the same amount of wealth for rich, famous celebrities that we have in the U.S. So you have a lot of them who just dip out to make that bag. But then you also have the other side of that. You have the heroes who choose to stay in their country and compete for Cuba, such as the greatest wrestler of all time, Mijan Lopez, who after winning his fourth Olympic gold medal said shout out to the big boss Fidel, as well as Teofilo Stevenson, who a lot of people consider the greatest boxer of all time who said something along the lines of the support and respect of the Cuban people is worth more than all the money in the world. And Cuba overall is actually pretty freaking amazing at sports, despite their situation. People always tell me, if you like socialism so much, why don't you go live in a socialist country? Like, bro, I'm just waiting for my chance. Send me to Cuba. I'm ready to go. Pay for my flight.